Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton. And today we are going to be talking about this album called Trio. Now, you may uh, know these folks. This was released uh, on March 2nd, 1987. This features um, this trio, uh, Dolly Parton, uh, Linda Ronstadt, and Emmylou Harris. Um, now, this album was a huge uh, hit album. It sold over 4 million copies, and it won two Grammys. Um, now, there was uh, another album, uh, Trio 2, and then a couple of years ago, they did the complete Trio collection. So, this really went well. Now, now what happened was um, these three ladies had been friends uh, and sort of admirers of, of one another, and they got together in the mid-70s, uh, to record an album together, and it just didn't happen. Different schedules, different careers, plus the fact they all were recording for three different record labels, so nothing came of it. Now, they did uh, have some stuff that they were working on at the time that ended up um, kind of coming out on some of the uh, some of the solo efforts, in particular. Uh, they had done Mr. Sandman, uh, Evangeline. That ended up on uh, Emmylou Harris's album, Evangeline. Dolly Parton's uh, song, My Blue Tears, uh, came out on a Linda Ronstadt album, uh, Get Closer. Uh, even Cowgirls Get the Blues, uh, Blue Kentucky Girl, uh, Emmylou Harris album. Um, and um, I Will Never Marry, that the ballad, uh, Dolly Parton and Linda Ronstadt recorded that. It, it came out on Linda Ronstadt's album, Simple Dreams. So they they had worked some stuff together. Um, the Linda Ronstadt had done a uh, Hank Williams song, I Can't Help It If I'm Still In Love With You, Heart Like A Wheel. She uh, was uh, joined by Emily Harris. So this was sort of um, a perfect storm. Um of, of these three getting together and it's a wonder it didn't happen before just because they were popping up all the time on each other's stuff. So they finally got together with uh, George Massenberg producer and said, we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to do this project. Um, and they, they got with George and uh, got together and released this. Now there were four uh, singles from this album that were huge. Uh, one of the biggest ones, and I remember it quite well, was the remake of the Phil Spector hit um, "To Know Him Is to Love Him," uh, which was which was a huge hit. Uh, of course, it drove the album to number one. It stayed there for a while. Won Grammy Award for Best Country Performance by Duo Group. Um, it was nominated for Album of the Year, right up there with Michael Jackson, U2, and Prince. Um, "Telling Me Lies" uh, was another big hit, uh, nominated for a Grammy Best Country Song. Um, so this album really, um, really spawned um, a lot of a lot of respect, and it's a fantastic album. Um, the pain of loving you, uh, Amy Lou Harris sang, but you know Dolly Parton, Porter Wagner song, making plans, the Johnny Russell song, uh, Hobo's Meditation by Jimmy Rogers, uh, Wildflowers, the Dolly Parton song, um, Telling Me Lies. Uh, my Dear Companion, uh, Those Memories of You, I've Had Enough, the Kate McGarrigal uh, song. Uh, and, of course, uh, Rosewood Casket, uh, the, the old traditional uh, song. And then uh, Farther Along, uh, the, old, the old traditional tune. So a really good selection of material, but some really good players on this album, too. Um, this, besides the three, three vocalists, uh, who are all fantastic. Uh, Ry Cooter is on this album, Russ Kunkel. Uh, Albert Lee, there, there's quite a few, Mark O'Connor, um, Herb Peterson, Leland Sklar, I mean several, several names, um, major players uh, all over this album, um, and so I, I'm going to say it couldn't help but be great, but uh, just a good vocal album, good songs, um, and, and worth seeking out, Trio, uh, Dolly Parton, Linda Ronstadt, and Emmylou Harris, a... Um, what will go down as a classic album, and rightfully so. What do you think about this album? Comment down below. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton 75 In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another Daily Record.